Welcome back to this week. This week we're going to show you our next project built. So if you like what you've been seeing, you want to see some more, so please hit that subscribe button down below and even like, comment, we'll show you this thing. So this is a TV48 out of a GU Patrol. So we'll be showing you what we're possibly going to be putting this in. We'll see how we go. Got some E85. That's for another car of mine. So that could be possibly on the cards as well for a later video. Show you around that car. But I'm going to show you what this big TB48 is possibly going to be going into. So we'll be changing a few different things on the TB48. Might make a custom intake manifold or... Don't know if I'm going to turbo it yet, but we'll see. But you'll have a custom wiring loom with probably a Link ECU running it. So we can hopefully get a bit more fuel economy out of it. If not... Tunability, power-wise. So now I'm going to show you what you reckon this thing's going to go into. And here it is. It's a Shorty GQ Patrol. So we'll show you around this thing and uh, give you a bit of a storyline on it so far. So this here is my sister's short wheelbase patrol. I've been sort of helping her do bits and pieces on it and uh, see how the build's been going. So she's made a bit of an edit on uh, the story behind it. I think she's calling it stage one. So I'll show you that now and I'll get back in and give you a bit of a rundown. So you've seen the storyline, now we'll give you a bit of a rundown. So under the bonnet, she's a good old TB42 Carby. So, nothing too fancy, nothing's done, just a set of extractors on it. Dual battery, and that dual battery box is out of a, or it's ARB, meant for a 4.2 or TD diesel one. So it relocates it in the middle. Custom airbox that I made, stainless airbox to the Carby. And that alloy radiator, nothing too fancy. Come to the front, got the custom bull bar from the Rusler Engineering guys. As we come up, got the King's winch, Domino X, King's light bars, LED lights in the corners, halo ring headlights. It's enough light for this thing, makes a world of difference. Stainless snorkel, so that she wanted. So she teed up to get one made. Scrub bars down to the rock sliders. I helped to make them. If you've seen any of the other videos, you'll see my buddy with a bender helped me bend them up. The biggest thing she always wanted, my sister, always wanted one of these gullwing windows. So I was like, oh, you can have them. Have whatever you want. So here they are. Really nice kit of gear. And it makes the car, just makes the car so much better. Access into the back for camping. So I've got a spare wheel in there at the moment only because it doesn't fit the garage. What else did she do? Oh, she made up these. So we made up the rear drawers, a bit of guidance. She fabbed them all up, cut them up, carpeted them. They're all made out of wood and the marine ply. Perfect for putting a lot of weight in. And you can still slide them in out. Another thing she did by herself, was uh, she always wanted the table. So she said, oh, well, yeah. bits of alloy, 
And she cut them all out. As you can see, stickers. Um, loves the stickers. But they're all functions. Perfect. Way she wanted it. Rear bars, the Star Crew Industries one. I couldn't justify the money for what he wanted for one of these. And I couldn't even make it. Couldn't even buy the steel for it and get it all bent. So I was like, done. And it's perfect. Underneath the Star Crew Industries, bigger uh, solid pieces of plate. So she ain't going nowhere. Good recovery hooks. The only thing I did was weld on the mud flap brackets. It comes up, covers the quarters. We've got, it's a three inch suspension with four inch coils. So you've got the Tough Dogs coils, Tough Dog shocks, the adjustables, front and rear. With the rears, so you've got the good old four inch coils, uh, shocks, sorry. We've got coil retainers under there and uh, dropout cones. All nicely painted, everything's underneath, all done properly. Tires, we have the, what is it we got? 285, 75, 16, so 33s by 12.5s in the Achilles Desert Hawks. So pretty good, aggressive money, really good on the road, wear nice, so haven't had a problem. I ran these my first time to Cape York, same brand of tire. We never had a problem, there was three of us running them, none of us had a problem. So good cheap mud tire if you're looking to get something reasonable, so we'll see. As we keep coming around inside the car, there's nothing too fancy in here. Got the king seat covers. Got the water temperature gauge here for her. Just never trust the factory ones. It's a race tech one with the audible alarm. Aircon and everything works. You got Bluetooth head unit, sub and amp integrated into the rear drawer setup. But other than that, she's pretty good inside. Really tidy car. That's about it. So we've got some big plans for the future. As I said, got the TB48 drop into here. Before that, might even do a few mods to this, get it going a bit better and show you along. And then once sort of do that, I'll rip it out. I'll take you along the ride doing the TB48 swap. According to the internet, they bulk straight in. Don't know, we'll see. So. Alright, eh? if you've liked seeing all this so far, you want to see this happen, please hit that subscribe button, thumb it up, show the support, we'll get to it. Thank you.